So Chris, just finished our Dubai leg of the Atlantic Pre-Season Tour. How have you found the, the first four days of the tour so far? Ah, it's been brilliant. It's been uh, no, a really good start to, to pre-season. Um, aside from the day when we literally had a monsoon and, and couldn't get training, which we weren't expecting in Dubai in, uh, in March. But the last two days, we managed to play three 2020 games against the UAE national team. Um, and they've been a really good run out for the girls who have been, you know, majority have been working hard all winter in Manchester. Some have been away to, to sunnier climbs and, and been playing some club cricket. So um, I think everyone, for everyone, it was a real good opportunity to get out and play some competitive matches. And as the new head coach of Thunder, how have you found it in being able to just kind of get to know the girls a bit better and kind of get to know how they are as people and players? Yeah, I mean, I certainly feel like I've, you know, forged some strong relationships with the girls over the last two months. Um, not least, obviously, we took 10 of them out to Mumbai on a, um, a batting camp, so so got to know them at, at pretty close quarters there. Um, however, you know someone like Tara, Tara Norris has been in Queensland for the last uh, couple of months, so it was great to see great to see her uh, back amongst the squad and, um, and and to see them all playing out on grass. Really, I think it's it's obviously uh, we, we we try and create some really good learning opportunities um, in the facilities we've got indoors at uh, Emirates Old Trafford, but there's nothing quite like being out on grass and, and playing competitive cricket. And we've just obviously completed our last kind of game in our mini series against UAE women. Three T twenties, two wins, one defeat. What what can you take from that, and what what have you learned really? I, I'm just really really happy. They were you know, three competitive games. Um, we've got 15, 15 girls out here. Um, all of them played in at least two of the games. So opportunities to uh, to impress, to get some time in the middle um, under their belts. Um, I thought the standard of of bowling and fielding was exceptional throughout. Um, I think run scoring throughout the, the three games on both sides was was, was a little bit tricky and uh, and took some adapting to. Um, but there've been some some good part departments. Uh, sorry, good performances in that department also. The next stop obviously is Bangalore. We fly there tomorrow. What can you expect from the squad and kind of yourself and your own personal experiences of obviously being there, playing first class in international cricket? Um, yeah, really looking forward to getting back to India. As, as I mentioned earlier, we've we spent ten days in uh, in Mumbai back in January with it with a group um, focusing on on batting against spin. Um, and uh, the, the, the pleasing thing about going back there is that you know lots of this group, you know, ten of the fifteen who who were out there uh, last month will uh, will get that opportunity to put a lot of their learnings from that trip into practice and I think the the element of uh, adapting to conditions out in, in the subcontinent quickly uh, is something I'm really looking forward to us uh, applying um, in terms of format our attention turns more to the 50 over comp we play three t20s here we'll, we'll, we'll start to com uh, com uh, start to concentrate more heavily on uh, 50 over cricket and our fixtures are a majority of them are 50 over games uh, leading into the build-up to the, to the Rachel A. Hoflint Trophy in April. Thanks, Chris. Pleasure.